Today, I am watching Vanilla Moon. She's going to Paris. Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another episode of 5 Bookish Facts. So today, I am going to be doing Charles Bukowski. This is just a selection of my collection. That rhymed. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. This was requested by Madman Reads and Rocks and I don't know why I hadn't thought of this myself because Bukowski is one of my favourite authors. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's crack on with five facts about Charles Bukowski. Fact number one is about Charles Bukowski's headstone. So he died in 1994, I believe, at the age of 73. And on his headstone, he has the words, don't try. And the reason for that is, is because people used to ask him for writing advice all the time. And that was his piece of writing advice. Okay, fact number two is that Bukowski really loved cats. That's why he has a little collection here, a posthumous collection, but called On Cats with his writing about cats. He hated people, loved cats, which reminds me of me. So really, we don't get to see Bukowski's softer side that much, but I'm going to read you a random poem about a cat. Let's see, let's flick in to give you an idea of how much he liked cats. This is called Cats and People and You and Me and Everything. The Egyptians loved the cat, were often entombed with it instead of the woman and never the dog. And now, here, the good people with the good eyes are very few. Yet the fine cats with great style lounge about in the alleys of the universe. About our argument tonight, whatever it was about, and no matter how unhappy it made us feel. Remember that there is a cat somewhere adjusting to the space of itself with a delightful wonderment of easiness. In other words, magic persists without us no matter what we do against it. And I would plunder and destroy the last chance of myself and of you that this might continue. There is no argument. Fact number three is that Bukowski is one of those rare poets who was actually kind of really well known in his lifetime. He was almost a rock star poet. And because of that, he actually made friends with some other rock star celebrities. So he was friends with Sean Penn. He was also friends with Bono. So in the documentary Born Into This, which is about Charles Bukowski, Sean Penn talks about a drunken evening he spent with Bono and they were reciting poetry together. And uh, soon enough, they got on the phone to Bukowski and they found out that Bukowski's wife, Linda, Linda Lee Bukowski was a huge U2 fan so Bono invited them to a gig in LA and then at the gig Bono dedicated a song to Bukowski and Linda. Bono later said that Bukowski was a little taken aback he said I think we got to the old fucker. Fact number four is back in the 1940s when he was basically doing manual labour jobs living from meal to meal and kind of drift falling behind on his rent and drifting and all this kind of stuff. He spent a lot of time in rooming houses which is why he has a collection called the Rooming House Madrigals. At that point he basically used to live on one chocolate bar a day. He said uh, I used to live on one candy bar a day. It cost a nickel. I always remember the candy bar was called Payday. That was my payday. And that candy bar tasted so good. At night I would take one bite and it was so beautiful. To be fair, he was also a raging alcoholic, so he probably could have eaten if he'd not drank as much, but... Bukowski! And fact number five is that Bukowski hated Mickey Mouse. He actually wrote about it f quite a few different times. And again, it, and again, in the documentary Born Into This, Linda Bukowski talked about his hatred for Mickey Mouse and especially the fact that he only had three fingers. So she said uh, he could not handle the fact that the power over multi-millions of human beings was in the hands of this three-fingered foolish creature that taught you nothing whatsoever, that expressed nothing real, total absurd fucking fantasy, not even good, not even creative. He was appalled by Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse doesn't have a fucking soul. So there you have it. There are five bookish facts about Charles Bukowski. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've got any requests for a future episode. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more bookish content. And I will see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.